Wednesday. I was trying. I almost forgot what day it was today. Honestly, it feels like a Tuesday because today was my second day working. I hope you've been feeling well. I've been feeling all right. <laughs> uh, hello, Koro. Hello, Cabal. Thank you for the pops, Koro. I'll do the pop. You enjoy the pops? Those pops good. Thank you for redeeming the pops. <laughs> I, uh, um, yeah, it feels like a Tuesday, but thankfully it's a Wednesday. Because today was my second day back at work, and honestly, I'm already so tired of work. <laughs> it's only been two days! Pop's good, hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad the poppins, poppins are good. I hope you've been bussing it down, Doodle. I have been bussing it down with my big fat ass sitting down. I'm sitting down on my big cakes right now. <laughs> I'm drinking an espresso soda. It's from Giant. It's actually quite good. I, I didn't even know that espresso soda was a thing until uh, recently. But it's like really nice. It makes it kind of sweet without 
Well, I mean, it is sweetened. It's like... I don't know what it's sweetened with. But I hope y'all have been good, too. I hope y'all have had a, a good week so far. Or at least are hanging in there. I forget, are finals done? Any of y'all? Well, I guess Bebop's the only one who's who's in school. Are, are finals done now? My sister started her, like, summer stuff for, for medical stuff. But yeah, um... I was, like, really tired today. Because I didn't get very good sleep last night. Finals are done for me, yeah? Oh, hell yeah. Free time galore. But, um... Yeah. So... I didn't feel like doing anything at work. And then... I was really sleepy. And then I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be sleepy for stream. But then I, I napped a little bit. And then I was like, I'm glad I'm doing stream, because it's really nice to see you guys in the chat. Like, seeing you guys puts a smile on my face. Or at least it doesn't put a frown on my face. <laughs> I've been through the ringer of brain worms and depression, but holding steady. Grinding in Sekiro for catharsis and progress. I hope the grinding has been doing well, or going well. But I'm sorry that you're dealing with that, unfortunately. That seems like an inevitability in all of our lives. But I'm glad you're holding steady, Cabal. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that I did stream today instead of like canceling again. Play RuneScape Ultimate Grind. Oh God, after hearing about those drop rates yesterday, I, I'm staying far away from RuneScape or at least far away from grinding stuff in RuneScape. Like, bruh. I barely have enough energy to, like, play games on my desktop most of the time. That's why I always play mobile games. Or, like, handheld games. So I can be in my little bed, under my little blankie, as you say, see here, playing game. But, um, yeah, today we'll be playing some more of the Stanley Parable. Um, I actually like Sekira. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Burn! Because you don't like RuneScape, you like Sekiro? Just kidding, I know what you're saying, but... RuneScape is on mobile? Uh... I'd be down to try it out. I think I tried it out... A long time ago? Or... Wait... Wasn't it that RS Glory Gold... Like, Glory Gold guy on Twitch? Doesn't he play RuneScape? I think that's where I'm getting the picture of RuneScape from. I might have played RuneScape a long time ago. Like, tried it out. Because I was in a really big MMORPG phase at one point. He plays RuneScape 3. The good, ru good one is old school RuneScape. They still support it? They still have servers up for it? Is it because it's just that popular? Like, that many people use it? Well, oh, I'm still a bit sleepy, but not too sleepy in the next stream. OSRS is still actively developed. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice that it's been going on for that long. I wonder what the code looks like. <laughs> I wonder how bad the code looks after being uh, spaghettified over the past few decades. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. Ma, 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 ma. Wow, 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 wow. These are, um, I'm playing Harvest Moon Story of Seasons Love Events music. So this, these are the songs that play during uh, romantically themed events in Harvest Moon. They always have like a nice feel to them. The code is so dinked. I believe it. <laughs> I kind of want to see it, but they're not going to let people see it, because then you could hack it. But, um, yeah, today we'll be, be, we'll be playing more Stanley Parable. I played a little bit off stream, so I actually, I wanted to see what was at the end of that whole segment, where we kept going into the hole until the point where it wasn't, it was only like a dent, and then... We started hallucinating 
that the hole was getting deeper and deeper as we were changing reality and ourselves. Um, but nothing happens after that. It just kind of resets you. It kind of resets you back at the beginning of the area of the Stanley Parable 2 convention area. And so I just kind of left after that. And then um, this thing happened where the narrator is like, okay, let me show you what the Stanley Parable 2 will look like. And it was like just all of the gags put together and it looked really disappointing. And he was like, hmm, I guess all these gags don't make a game. You know what would be even better? If we put these gags in the original Stanley Parable game and then just call it Stanley Parable 2. And then you'll see how, how that turns out. <laughs> it, it, it was really funny. I'm, I'm sad I didn't get to do it on stream. But uh, several things changed about the game after seeing that event. I didn't realize that it would actually like permanently change the game, or at least on your save. So that was a pretty clever thing for the Ultra Deluxe Edition. I am trying to start up the game, but Steam is not complying because VTube Studio is making my computer shit its pants. It is starting. It will be starting soon. Yeah. Okay. It's up. Let me stop this. No more romance time with the frange. Okay, you cannot romance the frange. I am not a romanceable NPC. Um, speaking of romance. Oh yeah, <laughs> this thing happened too where the next time I booted up the game, um, I put in the time that was, like I actually put in the actual time. And the game was like, oh, you actually put in the actual time? That's so nice of you. You know, next time I ask you to put in the time, you could put in any time you want. You don't have to put in the actual time. That's your, that's your uh, gift. So I'm gonna put 3 a.m. Ah, 3 a.m., your favorite time of day. Oh, was it supposed to be my favorite time of day? I forget. Or could you simply not resist giving me the correct time again? After all, I know how much you enjoy setting the time correctly. Okay, now I'm curious how accurate 3 a.m. is. Let's use another slider to find out. How accurate is 3 a.m.? It is 6 p.m. So, fairly inaccurate. You know, can I just say, regardless of the accuracy of the clock, I'm having a great time adjusting these settings. I feel like I'm learning more about you and how you like things to be set. It's good to collect data. I wish we had more sliders, but we've gone through all the sliders I have. Hmm, perhaps I can invent some new sliders to gather new data on you. <laughs> what? They're trying to collect data on me? Only Draken may romance the frange? Yeah, only Draken may romance me. Did I ever unlock the settings achievement? No, I didn't. I was too lazy to go through the settings like multiple times. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, let me whip up a couple new ones up. Should be ready by the next time you boot up the game. Oh boy, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, it's loading. <laughs> oh god, you guys can see my, my um, mouse. Why can you guys see my mouse? Because it's set to not capture the cursor. Is this like the in-game mouse? Yeah, I think this is the in-game mouse. Never mind. We can see my pee-pee? Wait, where? Where's my pee-pee? I don't see my pee-pee. How come you guys can see it? But yeah, here, now we're playing the Stanley Parable 2. We're not pl playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Um, and then it has this whole new red thing, and, uh, okay, begin the game. Oh, wait, you're talking about my cursor. Wait, that's not my pee, -pee. My pee, pee isn't that small. My pee is much bigger than that. This is a okay, I'm gonna skip the intro. Okay, so, 
after I got out of that Stanley Parable 2 thing, after we started playing the sequel, this changed. So... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Look at these... Then I decided to go to the meeting. The balloons Perhaps that I chose. I chose different balloons when I played through the area again, because I had to go back. I accidentally closed... Well, I didn't accidentally close my game, but I closed it when we were playing... When we were watching Turning Red. Um, because I thought that my computer needed the game to be off to actually stream it correctly. So happy 12th birthday, step niece. That's my favorite balloon. So I made sure that we would have that. And see, look, meeting today. Figurine finders committee. There's a whole new side quest where you have to find all the figurines, the different figurines from <gasps> my bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone. Not with the bucket around. This is the replacement bucket, though. I got the escape pod ending, where you, but you put the bucket in the escape pod instead of yourself. Well, you don't actually get in the escape pod in the actual ending, um, because it stops before you can. But if you have the bucket with you, uh, you can let the bucket Stanley escape. The bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Let's go. Hey, Hazy. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? So yeah, now we got our bucket with us. We have our little friend. And there's like all new dialogue with the bucket. How can we find them? So this is the, the meeting room has turned into a figurines collector's committee room. It says places to search, and these are where all the figurines are. I've already found two other ones. Um, besides the one that we found in the exhibition thing. So it's like, they have this whole slideshow about it. And it's just, they're going crazy. Follow clues provided by employee 416. We can do it! Trust the completionist instinct. We gotta find them all even though we don't get any reward for it. Can we sell them? Obviously. How many are there? Six. Why floating? Magnets? Magic? Dreams? Artist, rend Artist rendition by employee three. I'm very stressed but I'm here to vibe a little. Hope you're doing okay, how are you? Oh, I'm sorry you're stressed. That really sucks, Hazy. I hope you're able to vibe here. We're just uh, playing the Stanley Parable, so it should be a vibe. It's a very, very good game to play. I like it. Uh, I'm doing all right, too. Um, just a little sleepy. Thank you for asking. Why wouldn't they just tell us something will happen? This investigation in this room, they feel pointless. TBH. Yeah, because we, we don't get anything by getting the figurines. Or at least they tell us we don't get anything by finding the figurines. We need more planks. <laughs> there was a figurine on top of a toilet, too. That was the one that I found. Okay, let's, there will be a reward for finding them all. Lies. Who are you? 666 lol. I want them so much. I want to go home. I wonder where all the employees went. I love how you read all the things. Nobody who plays this game reads the little details. Oh, really? They don't? They're, they're the funniest things, though. I love the little... I love the the writing on the wall. It's just the little Stanley, details that make it really good. Oh yeah, I already went into the bloom the broom closet. That's why we have the sticker on our bucket. It wasn't there originally. He was like, um he was talking about how the broom closet was like being really fucking rude and saying that we don't own, like the bucket belongs in the broom closet not with us and we were like fuck you broom closet 
Here's a sticker. It belongs to me now. You don't own this bucket. I wonder what the the going downstairs ending is like with the bucket. To the boss's office. To the boss's office. Office. But yeah, let's see. We got the this ending last time, but we didn't have the bucket with us. <gasps> this guy! Whoa! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. <laughs> and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you Figlies? Think? What name uh, better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Figlies. I'm sure it will come to me. Figlies. Because it sounds fucking stupid. Thank you for the head, Pat Hazy! I appreciate it. Okay. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. Mm -hmm. His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arm. Aha, uh -huh, there's the bucket. <laughs> bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. Bucket! No! You think I'm crazy? The bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Oh my someone god. It's not my bucket? But I put the I sticker on it. Else's bucket. This is all terribly wrong. <laughs> yeah, the bucket returned his gaze. <gasps> no! No, where's the bu the bucket? Psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. Indeed. Now he noticed the rooms were repeating, which was of course very The bucket's gone. Now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh gracious. Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Where's my bucket? He heard it calling, to he heard it calling him? <laughs> the bucket's calling to you, Stanley. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None of them were Oh my god! None of them were his special Where's my bucket? Come to me, Stanley. Find me. <laughs> he had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore Where's the bucket? It has my sticker on it. He froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. Was it inside himself? <laughs> inside of him all along. <laughs> it was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. The real bucket was inside of him all along. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Okay, so what's this gonna be like? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security. Bucket? Her place of work. She's holding the bucket. On this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town <laughs> talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the He didn't have a bucket. Was. This man right? had no bucket. Oh, <laughs> of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video. <laughs> it would all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. This is hilarious. I love this. He realized he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world mm, He just forgot his bucket. She hugged her own bucket. She had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. I feel like this is a dystopia. To herself, my life kicks ass. <laughs> my life kicks ass. <laughs> she backflipped all the way to work. I love this ending. I love it better than the, the other ending, the other version. This is a utopia? Uh, I feel like it's a dystopia if we have to rely on the buckets for everything. You know? But, uh, <laughs> bucketopia. But yeah, I love, I love that ending.
My little bucket. Bucket, where are you? Come to me, bucket. Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Bucket, room. there you are. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. <laughs> Off on another adventure. Rely on the buckets are a blessing. True. Stanley I'm very happy to have my bucket. To his chest and entered the door on his left. But it, it's just great that they just created whole new endings and storylines with the bucket. Thank you, whoever developed this game. But we have found, what is it? We found four, four figurines. Now I need uh, a large room with lots of boxes, somewhere both red and blue. Have you done the colored doors bucket ending? No, I haven't yet. I'm just gonna kind of wander around and see which endings I can stumble into. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. But um, I didn't. I actually did get the normal ending. So if you you get the like the normal ending if you just follow all of the instructions from the narrator, and basically, hmm, should I just show it to you guys? It's not that long of an ending. Because it's pretty quick if you just, uh, executive bathroom. Ooh, let's go pee in the executive bathroom. To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. You can be rich and do crimes. Oh no, I just realized that me shaking my leg was like jittering the mouse. <laughs> Is this person going to pair it? The beige pays pages. <laughs> it's the beige pa pages, not the yellow pages. Business time. The buck Bacanthian has many buck Bacades. <laughs> Katie's into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Mm -hmm. It's all thanks to the bucket. In his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would. And he knew it. Mm. Mm. The, two of them were mm. the bucket just Stanley separated so itself from him in the previous ending. He shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's The one that I'm staring straight at. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Again. Yeah. Was it the bucket knew all along? Did the bucket know all along? Guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical. True bucket ending. But um Yeah, the bucket has human qualities, as shown by the narrator. And the bucket provides all all knowing guidance and comfort. Um, which I really like. Because it's the reassurance bucket. I wish I had a bucket like this. What if we had the Sta Stanley Parable themed buckets for merchandise? It would sell like hot buckets. Hot cakes. Loading, loading, loading. I forget what else was, um... Plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, <laughs> if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting him. Giving him little head pats. that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything, Everything will, will be, be fine. fine. What the? Uh. Why did it just spark behind me? But, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, there are other things that were supposed to be in the quote-unquote sequel of the game. There was the infinite hole, so I wonder where we're gonna find that. Because we found the figurines, the balloons, the infinite hole. 
there's the button that says gym. There's the jumping, the, the jump circle. There's the achievement thing. I don't think we're going to get that, though. <laughs> and then there's the bucket. Oh, bucket guy. Am I missing anything? I'm not sure. There's merchandise. I don't think that's going to be here, though. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, yeah! I also did this ending, so it branches off here. Here? Here. They're both very good endings. Um, honestly, any any bucket ending is like A plus tier. S tier, I mean. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Mm -hmm. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered themselves. Mmm, <laughs> this look this uh, room looked familiar? Maybe we might have uh, stumbled into this room from that entrance over there. That little uh, bridge. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently. Reassuring it that everything would be fine. Oh, oh, poor Bucket. I'm sure this is very... This is a lot for the Bucket to take in. But we're here together. We're buddies. We're partners. Partners in crime. Was the Bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things he didn't <laughs> wish to do, what kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? The that is a good question. Furiously in what does the what does the bucket want to do? No. What do you guys think? Bucket. What is a bucket's favorite activity? His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, Honestly, his only friend. Except for the bucket. So we're doing everything that the narrator is telling us to do. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over console disabled life. for he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good two best friends Stanley and the bucket up against the world up against they the world in a really cool way <laughs> a comment about taking down the system <laughs> I I really love that part <laughs> The bucket's so sassy. What's this? Huh? Hmm. Mind controls idle. Awaiting input. Oh. Mind control something. I can't read that. When at last they came to the source of the room's power, Stanley and the bucket knew it was the Gotta turn off the mind control. You will not be controlled again. You cannot control us. Fuck the system. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Let's go! Was mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they mm -hmm. stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley oh boy. Wanted to sneeze in every country on earth. <laughs> wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together. 
I ship Stanley in the bucket. Trust to support. Hmm. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley in the bucket not about to be freed? You're not gonna let us out? The silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. The building wanted the bucket! The building wants the bucket! Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. But I can't Not leave the bucket behind. Has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. <laughs> to be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now. He was gonna find out. out. Would you be, would you, uh, sacrifice freedom for being with your bucket? I personally would. Bucket is life. Also, I like how the screen says loading now instead of the end is not the end, the end is not the end. But, uh, I've never seen the door close like that. This, yes, uh, the normal ending is you get freed. The door opens, you're allowed to step out. But since... <laughs> Since you're with the bucket, the building doesn't want to let the bucket go, so... Let's go to the bathroom. Except I go to the bathroom, the bucket. <laughs> Without the bucket, I do not have freedom to begin with. <laughs> the, that is true. Life is not... You're not really living life unless you're with your bucket. But yeah, um, 420. <laughs> but yeah, um, the actual ending is, is like very, very normal, which is why the whole goal of the game is to not, is to get all the other endings. Like the normal ending is not the most interesting one, but that one is with the bucket. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door. Okay, let's start. Actually, I want to go, I want to go to the other ending. Um, the escape route, because that one is pretty good too. I like that one. And then we can start getting new endings that I haven't seen before. Wow, wow, wow. Stanley on the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Let's go. Stepping in. What? What was it? Two, eight, four, five. To discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed, but Stanley guessed the correct code. <laughs> I was I was just lucky. Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Yes, very logical. I forget what he says if you put in the code early without the bucket. Was it like he, he just knew it out of nowhere? Cause I, I know that there's like different dialogue for that. Let's go! You know, I'm really feeling for Stanley. He's just a normal office guy with no Stanley redeeming qualities, but... Hey, Cabal! You you missed the, the normal ending, but with the bucket. But this one's gonna be better. You sure? Ha, huh, fuck you. Fuck you, we're gonna escape the together. Door them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. We can do this. Let's escape together, my friend. Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. Psh. Yeah, right. Uh <laughs> the end is never the end is loading oh <laughs> wow huh?
Okay. As the machine that doesn't look nice. Stanley and the bucket inch closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. Why are you saying that, Stanley? A sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death. Why are you saying that? Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. But Fair it's the bucket. Stanley. Farewell, this man is Stanley, insane. Yeah. As Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws, in a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end as it was crushed violently to death. Why are you narrating for the bucket? My life came to an end. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket. Oh, where'd my bucket go? The bucket. We're now in the bucket museum. I forget how this ending goes normally. I, I, it basically, it's the same up to this point where you're like saved right before um, you get crushed and there's like a female narrator and you get dropped down below, but this is not what you see. The bucket welcomes you to the grand exhibit. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within, a cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is the only true knowledge we really have. Will you take what you learn here out with you into the world? Will you accept with an open mind what may be challenging about the information in, in this exhibit? Will you change the lives of yourself and your loved ones as a result of this exhibit? Or will you turn a blind eye and continue to live as you were in ignorance and darkness? Mm. Very, very profound. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? Very noble. 25 buckets. A photograph of 25 buckets, the greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. Is this really 25 buckets? There's a lot more buckets in this picture than that. There's a lot more than 25 buckets here. <laughs> Monka S. Too many buckets. I, I'm, I'm afraid to look at this picture. Look the fucking the human bu bu anatomy thing but buckets. A bucket with two handles. This bucket is depicted as having two handles. Such a design has never been created in real life, having been deemed too dangerous and recklessly experimental. Every year, dozens are put to death just for attempting it. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I wonder if this actually says anything. I'm not sure. <laughs> How dare you try to make a bucket with two handles? That's too, too much. Inferno bucket. A, repl a replica of the Inferno bucket, which in the medieval era, era was so powerfully alluring that it drove dozens of nations to war with one another for control of it. Billions died, and yet in spite of it all, the simple fact remains no one can control a bucket. Billions of people died. Just think about how much that is. There are 7 billion people on the earth now. After, after the population spiked. This is in the medieval era. There couldn't have been that many people in medieval Europe. A stress bucket. The stress bucket in analogy. Worrying, negative forecasting, negative thinking, lack of reassurance goes into the bucket. Stress equals the level of water in the bucket. Vulnerability is the size and the strength of the bucket. Coping strategies equals holes. 
Rest and relaxation. Doing something you enjoy. Rest and relaxation. Rest and relaxation twice. I love this. This, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> the fucking caveman painting with buckets! Cave drawing. Well, we know that buckets predate the existence of mankind. We do not know by how long. This is bad shit, yeah. <laughs> Don't call the bucket stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I called the bucket stupid. It's The bucket is noble. The bucket is holy. <laughs> so buckets predate the existence of mankind. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Notice in these drawings how the bucket is allowing itself to be used, having judged humanity to be worth of its treasures. Worthy of its treasures. <laughs> I like how there's just deer using the bucket too. No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. We shall we should kneel before it. Is there only one kind of bucket? Well, there's the inferno bucket, and then there's our bucket, and then there's the two two handled bucket. And there's the hang hang bucket. This piece symbol- this is the bucket that came out of the hole when we, that we were in. This bucket- this piece symbolizes the necessary relationship between bucket and humanity. However, our, however clear our grasp of the bucket may be, there is yet more that is always out of reach. This distance, inevitably, is for our own good. Can I jump into the hole? Oh. Oh. I wanted to jump into the hole. I guess I'll take this bucket. Oh no. But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Uh No! Be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save no, I will their treatment as tools and implements. If only we let Stanley die together. No, it shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. <laughs> By Stanley. <laughs> and she's speaking directly to us, actually. Um, to us, the player. There, she's like, don't reload the game. Don't let him go. Get the bucket again. But I will get the bucket again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. A good bucket. A strong bucket. A humble bucket. A humble a bucket. bucket. A bucket of culture and distinction. <laughs> Stanley touched the bucket. All right. Let's go this way. And this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Yeah, it is the place to be. Here. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Mm -hmm. The was bucket's always correct. Meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. No, never mind. No, how could you say that? Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo <laughs> lift. At first I thought he was like impersonating me. Because I just said no. But of course he wouldn't. It was just funny timing. Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. I'm not lying. The voice, yeah. <laughs> the little bucket voice. I didn't know that. The bucket's voice always changes. Because the bucket, I guess. Imagine that voice making a sassy comment about taking down the system. 
Hey, ZZ, how's it going? Oh! I didn't realize you could go down here. Huh. Okay. I don't think I've ever been here before. Even in the original game. Thanks for stopping by, CZ. How you doing? This looks unnerving. Lots of boxes. <gasps> Wait, is the figurine here? Oh, that said narrator sound system. Oh my god. <laughs> I was waiting for the bucket to come out. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the it's same. It's better than thing. sex. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. I have I have not seen the regular version of this ending. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this Oh, you joined a while ago? I hope you've been enjoying your lurk. Why everything feels so What do I do with this treasure? I can I can monetize <laughs> I can monetize it. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. Time to monetize the bucket, everyone. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Strange otherworldly noises? I never saw that ending before. Let's try to see the normal version of that ending. <laughs> to, to see what we're comparing it to. Bucket Gasm? Yeah, he died from a bucket gasm. Bucket what is a thousand uh, per second. What could it mean? Thousand per a thousand dollars per second with the bucket. I mean, with, with, yeah, with the bucket. When Stanley came to a set of two of this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Yeah, I had never get, gotten that ending before. I haven't uh, completed all the endings in the Stanley in the original game. Wow. Yes. This, this room. room. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door. Worth it? Yeah. For time with the bucket, of course. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Speed running the ending. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shall so far off the beaten path that it. So so this is the narrator. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? Oh. What a silly and trite explanation that would. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is real. <laughs> each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, 
you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock <laughs> at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. Yes. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Uh, He's making fun of me. sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. <laughs> that was yeah. The bucket ending is so much. Okay, the bucket ending is so much better because it plays it so straight compared to this. Yeah, I didn't. I was expecting something of like a similar tone, but uh, I guess I shouldn't have expected it because the bucket endings of things are so much, so much different. But I guess that was the only time where a bucket ending was like more serious. Like with that tape recording. But let's see. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Bucket, bucket, bucket. So bucket, bucket. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A old lover. Companionship that stands the test of time. Mm -hmm. I, I love all the different pickup uh, pick dialogues. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. Oh yeah, sure, Bebop. Uh, what was that ending that you were talking about? The colored doors ending? I remember seeing colored doors when I played before, but I, I am not sure how I would go about getting them. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting? Because if you say that it's a good ending with the bucket, I kind of want to try getting it with the bucket. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Jumping off, off the lift onto the little platform. Okay. So jumping off the lift in here. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, 1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, 5,000. And death. Oh, onto the catwalk, I see. Okay. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why on Bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because Buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the Bucket had spoken to him. And he kept <coughs> thinking that, but Stanley feared that any path he walked <coughs> might lead to the separation of himself and the Bucket. Oops. His dearest friend. I can so do that again. himself to his death. That they might die in one another's arms. <laughs> I got stuck! I stopped moving! Because I died. But yeah, I stopped. What? 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 All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley bucket. Decided to go. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of those things. I think I just went down the path of another ending. Little thing in the office. Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Dog mode? It Oh, here we are, guys. Franges. Huh? I didn't I didn't I didn't touch it. I guess the colored door's ending is going to have to wait a bit until we find our bearings. Huh? Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest 
and entered the door. I guess that was just a different starting area. To the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee. That's all there is for the blue office. Oh. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Oh, okay. No. Is it just like a random thing? The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No. Said the no. Bucket. Don't go to the meeting no. room. No. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yeah, good. Said the bucket. <gasps> oh, there's the figure! The there's something up there I need you to do. Oh, we Stanley can get that later. Why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. And Hell yeah. Thinking he did whatever the bucket asked. Is it this way? Danger, danger, danger everywhere. <gasps> it barks when I click now. I am a dog now. <laughs> Stanley is just barking at everything. <laughs> okay. There's a sign right there. It says, no buckets past this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket? What? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't? No, I know what a bucket I suppose is. that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This <laughs> Stop! consequences on the entire rest of the game, if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Really? Please, step in here for a moment. No! What? Do not stand on this side of the fence. Too bad, bitch. Yeah, I'm a human barking like a dog gone mad. I'm just like a f I've gone feral. <laughs> oh my god! Now then. I'm going to run you through is this a, a, is this a test? You'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Wow, 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 wow. Is this a bucket? Wham. Incorrect. It's what? A hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. What? But it's. What does it need to be an actual bucket? Is this a bucket? Incorrect. Fuck! It is a three D printed recreation of a bucket. What? Not an actual bucket. It's an actual bucket. Are you saying three D printed buckets aren't actual buckets? Item three. Is this a bucket? I'm gonna keep saying yes. Three. Yes. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? <laughs> if he says this is a bucket, I'm gonna fucking bark at him. Okay. Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be <laughs> He's calling us stupid. Okay, next one. Uh... Now that's a bucket. Oh my fucking god! This is a bucket. What? 
Item six. Is this a bucket? I'm not passing this quiz. This feels like college all over again. Trick question. Both? both? Gotcha. What? How is it? How is it both? Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. It should be around here somewhere. What happens if you get all the questions right? Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, of course it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket. Yeah. Of course it's not true. Well? Is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? <laughs> Just different dialogue. Schrodinger's bucket. Gaslighting the quiz. It is gaslighting the quiz. Is everything a bucket? Yeah. Thanks for saying that the ending doesn't change, I'm though. I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Because of me. You must know what a bucket is. <laughs> I'm a bucket. <laughs> Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets from <gasps> What? No. Okay. No. Yeah. Don't do that. What happened? Is everything gone? <laughs> Why did everything disappear? Because everything's a bucket. Everything a bucket. Yes. Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Fooey. This is wonderful news. We're I was hoping bucks. I'd be a bucket. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what. I'll reset everything, and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know mm -hmm. that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information <laughs> might do? Right, hey, bruh, you're a bucket. You got you got erased when we erased all the buckets. I'm sorry to break it to you. You're so confused about all this bucket stuff. Good. I am I am happily confused about this. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket. Mm -hmm. But Stanley is a very lucky fellow. This game is Bucket Simulator. Oh no. Oh, okay. I thought that this was going to be um, the point where like the doors disappear, but we already did that ending. <laughs> bucket Theory is going to be a big plot line for the next Zero Escape game? <laughs> I could see it. I could see the writer doing something with, with the bucket. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the bucket. My bucket. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Oh. oh. Please don't fall. Yes. You're getting close now, Stanley. I'm getting You're so close. All of the Figler and the Reeves very soon. Figler and the Reeves. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be and I'll get a huge number. rush of adrenaline. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and the Reeves. None of us can. What the fuck is that name? Figler and Lorraine's? Also, hey Link, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Bucket. Who's Stanley? <laughs> Who's Stanley? It's all about the bucket now. But uh, Stanley is the main character. He's the one that we're controlling. Hmm. 
Can we get down from here? Stanley ah. feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation Whoops. of himself and the bucket. His I guess fell. I guess just touching the so ground will kill us there. To his death, that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. Is this a narrator? Yeah, the narrator is a character, and then Stanley is also a character, but Stanley doesn't talk. Is this a different hallway now? Also, you're off work. Congratulations. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded on. Check. Ego check. Pass. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Don't forget your hint for where the last the last figurine is. Oh yeah, it it was like a a place where like re there's red and blue, right? I don't know where that this would be. Not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. So we're gonna follow the bucket. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. The bucket's never wrong. The door on his left. To go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the good. I want to go out that door. Now ride the lift all the way to the. I want to go out that. There's something up there, I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious. <laughs> He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. Because it did. Thinking he did whatever the bucket asked. We don't listen to the narrator anymore. We just listen to the bucket. Whoa! In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Urgent. Employees should never, under any circumstances, attempt to... Be happy. Okay, so where are we? I don't like that room. I don't like this room. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. oh my god, this. So this ending. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley. Oh my God! This <laughs> ending. <laughs> I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Bucket? We got the bucket art? We got... It's... This is a different house from the other ending, I feel. Is it? I like... I like I just my bucket. Jazz music. Ah, uh, yes. Very nice. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press V, v to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press P to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? 
To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Press R to go back to work. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. Or a solid. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press G for us to go back home. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about I is play. this awful bucket. This <laughs> stupid hunk of metal. I like these, uh... <laughs> I like these magnets. Wish you were here. The freedom ending. Adventure awaits along the line. I played the demo. Narrator Airlines official mind control. I went to the mind control facility. <laughs> Where's my bucket? Bucket? Press N to ignore anyone in your life except for me. I don't think this is a healthy relationship. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. See? If you believe I'm real. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press V to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Sexier. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Press T to relive the same day with me. Over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? It's it's a lot more than just a regular bucket. Also, hey Rio, how's it going? Playing the base game, yeah. The very base game. I really like this game. That's one beautiful bucket, right? Doesn't it just shine so beautifully in the light? Don't, don't you just want to stare at it forever? Ah, look at that. And it has my mark on it. Property of Stanley. I also like how I don't cast a shadow. <laughs> Press Q to go home to work. To home, the, go home to work to home to work to home. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. <laughs> um, are we lighting up like romantic candles for the bucket? Are my jokes of like the duck the bucket being sexy actually coming to fruition in this game? Are we gonna have we're gonna have sex with the bucket? Give me the bucket. The Give fuck me it. The bucket, Stanley. I need it. I need Give it. it. Now. Give it or oh, that's my Tabagachi. <laughs> Go back to work, Stanley. Fuck it. Do the bucket. Do the bucket. Oh, um, my Tamagotchi's hungry. The cuck it, fuck it, bucket! <laughs> Tama right in time? Yeah, that was actually really good timing for the Tama to beep. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. 
Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. I, I don't know what the narrator was just saying. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry for, sorry for never joining college is kicking my ass. That's all right, Rio. There's no... Like, of course, every time you come here, it's chill. I enjoy your presence. It's always welcome. But school is important. And I totally get it. Um, if you can't come to, to stream because you're drowning in, in college. Gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Did I get the mini Stanleys? Yes, I have all of them except for one. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly. Okay, so. Actually, I, want, I wanted to get the, the non-bucket ending. Or the non-bucket version of that ending. But I forget. Uh, how that goes? Oh yeah, uh, let's go... Okay, so there's actually a different version... A different ending if we go down here. Instead of answering the phone, we do something We do something else. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. One of the figures requires you to take a route without the bucket? No, oh, really? Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift. Yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. I Good. think... The bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. Oh. There's something up there I need you to do. So I think I've gotten so all of the figurines that you can get with the bucket. Of course, because buckets can't talk. Because I've had the bucket with me every time I've gotten a figurine. So I guess the last one I, I need to get rid of the bucket. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Wow. Okay. Now pick up the phone said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get huh? the joke? It's funny, Stanley. <laughs> oh, bucket. Can't you see? Oh, oh goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer? <laughs> quick? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully... Oh, wait, yes, there is. Yeah, there is. Um, <laughs> right there. Let's take a look. Okay. So we're going to be standing here while he reads what a book? Is, what? <laughs> what is... Comedic timing. How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your political? <laughs> and more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. I love this instructional Let's video. Deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, <laughs> in all likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 50 degree <laughs> angle from your body. These are what? the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. <laughs> to begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, name. provide a brief synopsis of the joke including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh and then <laughs> spell out your name a second time with these steps complete it's time to begin the humor begin the humor Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary and when, when you got a piss while taking a joke it's customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice I'm Dunny with the funny. Let's <laughs> screaming. I'm Dunny with the funny. Okay, okay. Now. I'm Dunny with the funny. 
I'm done with the funny. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. I love how his eyes are just Finally, it's time to hand out far apart. Surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience and how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just he has three hands. The taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter. And even My God, who drew these faces? I'm terrified. Them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the twelve-legged invader who threaten our very existence. <laughs> and luckily die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us, and their children after them. God uh -huh. and may Earth reign supreme. Is this a reference to uh, that one movie? Oh, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. <coughs> Okay. Anytime a, jo a joke I don't make lands. Oh boy, was I was that bit of, it was a joke. It was a joke. You know, you know? Did, did, did you not get my joke? <laughs> my comedic timing was uh was off. I thought it was perfect. Okay, just to war propaganda. I thought it was perfect. I'm dunny with the funny. It was perfect. Tell us a joke. Uh, knock, knock. It didn't really feel like you were dunny with the funny. I'm dunny with the funny. Ha ha. Did that work? Do we, do we gotta, gotta go back here now? Oh my god, it has a fence around it! <laughs> you'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say. How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank you for the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now. Yeah, thank well, goodness. be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to you, you felt it that time, Bebop? I'm glad. I really put... The bucket spoke... Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. I, I, I really did try my hardest for that. So if you didn't feel it then, I really didn't know what I would do. Who's who's here? Who's here? Not, uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, Franj. Your arm was only at 18 degrees. Oh, shit. But my nubs can only go so far. I couldn't I couldn't get those extra three degrees. That video about comedy might be the funniest moment in the whole game. Well, there are a lot of funny moments in the game. So I wasn't there. What did you think of the skip button ending? Oh yeah, we did get the skip button ending. I really liked it. <laughs> I, I hit the skip button so many fucking times. Frange loves you. Mwah. <laughs> oh my god, my Tamagotchi is beeping again. <laughs> was that a good joke? Oh, it wasn't a joke. I do love you guys. <laughs> just, just customarily trying to open up all of the doors. I can't bark anymore. I can't bark. That was a b beautiful little fronge kiss. I'm glad you'll like it. Here we go. You ready? 
When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. I can't believe they took our bark for us, right? Uh... This is unacceptable. How do we get back to- we have to get back to the blue office, but there's no real way to do- OH MY GOD! <laughs> no, no, what's going on? There were supposed to be several rooms leading up to this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten. Yeah, it is your fault, narrator. Immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of king of comedy. I'm nothing. You 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 were the king of comedy? joke telling well. I think I think I need to go. No, no, please don't watch it again. Don't watch it again. Surely that will help. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> okay. When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Uh. What? Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. <laughs> Here we go. What is happening? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Do I have to go into the left door? Is the right door just going to keep doing that? Yeah, it looks like it's it's going to keep doing that. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. Oh, no, no. Here we go. Yeah, I I think I think uh we're going to just have to go into the left door. They entered the door on the left. The joke's looping. Sag, I, I want to. I don't want to listen to him. Hey, Draken, thank you for the pet. Oh my God, why do you keep, why do you keep beeping, Tamagotchi? You don't even need anything. Thank you for the head pet. Oh, I appreciate it. No, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the I train. kept doing that! I even look at the instructional video. I think this is all ah. covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. The joke is completely down and over. It's all your fault, Stanley. It's all your fault, I'm narrator. I'm in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings. Thank you for the head, Pat Nammy! Because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a Oh, my God, I'm narrator. Proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley. Are you proud? Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you, um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. <laughs> pale in comparison. But let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashed you are. <laughs> the the end. No? You just keep getting jokes, you keep, you keep try being told pale bad jokes by the narrator. Pale with shame? Thank you for the head pat, Cabal. Also, hey, Nami, how's it going? Long time no see, actually. I see you on Twitter, but I haven't seen you around on Twitch for a while. I hope you're doing well. You need to look at videos on YouTube. How could you ruin the joke by doing the only thing I could do? Want me to tell you what the last figurine is? I I am good for now, but if I if I really want to know where it is, I'll ask. Gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I wanna I wanna do that um that telephone ending without the bucket because I do like that ending. Stanley came to a set of two open. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Let's go, Stanley. Stanley 
Haul your ass over. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is incredible. Not been watching streams anywhere near as much. It's 12 a.m. over there? 12.30? Super late, we've been going to bed earlier, but I've had a day so chill doodle stream sound like a perfect girl. I am flattered that you chose a doodle stream to chill with. And I'm sorry that you have had a day that you've had... A shitty day, I assume. So I hope that you enjoy the chill. Hope you are able to chill. We're alright, just a day. Don't worry, definitely lovely to see everyone again, though. Yeah! You're definitely welcome. But I hope that things get better for you. Today is blessed. <laughs> you. But, uh, yeah, it's quite late over there, isn't it? Like, it's five hours ahead. That means- wait, that means it's 1.30 for Koryo. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. On the wrong bucket? I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Someone you've forgotten about. Ooh, who? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? Ooh. Stand, Stanley, your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Her? She's Do I have a waiting. sweetie? Does Stanley have a sweetie? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your Now nah, I'm gonna in squat the in the corner over here. Then pick up the phone. I would not get a girlfriend. I'm not that I'm not cool enough. I'm not cool enough to have a wife. Four two seven. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh, right. Okay, there we go. All right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? No. Who want to commit their life to you? I'm no. trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. <laughs> come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No. Sorry. Ah! <gasps> Bruh. He's not letting me escape. <laughs> no, I don't want to face reality. Uh. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee 427. Press V on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Wow! wow. Yeah, because if you guys remember the original synopsis of the story, or synopsis, I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Stanley's job. Thank you! Stanley's job was just to press buttons that would show up on a screen, so we're basically doing his job right now. Doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Synopsis? Oh, yeah. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work, 
was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. The, this is one of the few endings where the narrator roasts you instead of the other way around. True. There are quite a few endings where... Uh, where the narrator roasts you, but also just as many, if not more, where you roast the narrator. Me trying to be sure I didn't invert the Y and the I. I, I think, I think that's spelled correctly. It looks correct to me. Spend time so with the boys. Further, he imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press R to prepare dinner. As he wandered through this fantasy world, huh? he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Oh, Down wait, this is my office desk. Round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that we... <laughs> line TM. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Press Q to tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press T to tell your wife you love her. But there is no answer. Oh no, my wife's gone. <laughs> In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The oh no, this is my office. The more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Press B to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here. Watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Press H to be at work in the morning. I think I tried to not press this button when I first got this ending, but it literally nothing happens because you have to press the button. You have to! It's a game! You gotta press button! You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press F to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. <sighs> and I tried again. Please die. No! And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. No! Don't and say that. Uh oh. And that is a depressing ending, but I also really like it because it, it um, kind of ties into the game. Just the game as a whole. You're just playing it over and over and nothing really changes. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Huh? Why are you, why is he saying that? They asked nicely? They asked asked nicely to, to do what? To uh, to die? <laughs> Stanley's bucket, the only co-worker he would ever truly need. Never leave Stanley the place. The tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Oh wait, I forgot to get the other version of that ending, or the other version of the telephone room thing without the bucket. Because you can also unplug the the telephone from the from that room. 
Wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let me go back in here. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can get Oh, he already said this. Here for hours. But alas, no stickers. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Okay, so there's red and blue. Also, there's this thing here. Oh my Oh yeah, I found this picture before. Look at that. Business strategy. Hold gun to panda head. <laughs> yes, that is our company's business strategy. Door outdoors monthly. Shapes. Exclusive. Lenny Smith talks about this new box. Apparently on the Switch, the hand is Mario's glove. Really? Oh, it's indoors monthly. Time. Graphs. It's Mario's hand holding a gun. Let's take the elevator. God, how how far up are we going? Or down? Huh? We didn't go anywhere. I am the most expensive boss. That's what the plaque says. I'm trying to see if this it's because I pressed the up and down buttons, but I feel like this may not go anywhere cuz I don't remember this from the from the previous game. Was the narrator softly singing along with the music? I think so. I th like either he's he's the singer or the narrator character is singing along. Like the voice actor is the singer. <laughs> Wappa. Good vibes. I like how the paper is really shiny. Okay, this may not go anywhere actually. Yeah, he is singing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's just singing into our ear. Elevator simulator? Yeah, I don't think we're getting out unless we press a button. And we're right back here again. Oh my fucking god. The never ending elevator. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. 
But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly yes. a logical explanation. Okay, I think there are some branching paths from here. But there are, li there are like a ton of different endings in this game. I just forget how to get some of them. Can we go back up? Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was <laughs> keep bad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. I want to press the number three. The bucket said nothing. I want to press the number three. Let's go press the number three, Franges. We, there's something special about the number three. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over and over. Well, he said, the number three is such a special <laughs> time of my life. <laughs> Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket. But the bucket, the bucket is silent. not amused. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Because it's not exciting. Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. I think there's a code that you can put in that does something special. I forget what that code is. I'm not even sure if I'm remembering it correctly. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Sometimes it's just really nice to mash a button, to do some button mashing. A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? <laughs> We're gonna do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> no, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. Oh no. Poor bucket. Really? Did Chain said that Avalon Co. was one of his main inspirations for low poly modeling? That game had such had such like really cool models. Really cool like uh DS style models. I really enjoyed it too. That's really nice. Chained has good taste in uh in games. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, waving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fear. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Only silence. Only silence because it's a fucking bucket. Rejection. Stanley returned to the elevator. Stanley is fucking depressed. Yeah, they, they are very Avalon, Avalon Cody. Um, they always seem like kind of familiar, but I guess it's because they were trying to like emulate old style models. I just thought it was that. But uh, also, I need to go to a bathroom break. Uh, my frange guts are feeling uncom uncomfortable, so it may be a bit, but I will be right back. I will be right back. Don't you worry. Enjoy the BRB music, and I will go piss.
I am back. <laughs> Why are y'all farting? Damn. You're fucking farting like crazy. I am back. Uh, play the pulse stretch fart. You guys played the Gigamax turbo fart? Oh my god, what have you guys been saying? Pray Doodle doesn't fall in. No, I didn't fall in. <laughs> the me the French Mac will ha not have to replace me. <laughs> you see me? You see me? You see me? You fart in the void because it bothers nobody. Welcome back, piss boy. No, you're the piss boy. We're both piss boys. I think so. I had like mac and cheese, and I also had uh, I also had that espresso soda. I do not think it mixed well together. But also, I was not able to get relief. Only temporary relief. <laughs> so I am sad. Something like something the Frange Mac would say, TBH. Oh shit, true. But I'm not the Frange Mac. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, it was a, it was sad. No! <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Standing in the bucket was so close. It always be That's what the bathroom sounded like. Could the bucket not connect with his passion of stand. Not really. That's what I wish. That's what I wish the bathroom sounded like, but my body would not let me do. To the bucket to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? Thank you. <laughs> I hope I'm able to as well. You can't even clean up anymore? Yeah, it's the, the fart is just gonna like sit here. It's just gonna stink it all up. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible scene hmm? did this place hold? Standing in the bucket what? wondered to themselves. Have you done the out of the map bucket ending? No, I haven't. Did I did I do a thing that I shouldn't have done? I can restart. I was just trying to get the ending where you click where you click turn on the mind control instead of turn it off. The monitors jumped to life. And Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being video. How do you get the out of map uh, ending again? The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently. Did I have a good pee? I unfortunately no, I did not. I was constipated. Unfortunately. Was the, the mind control facilities influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do. You have to walk up 434's chair. Oh, okay. Where is their chair? Is it like at their desk? But wait, Rio, what were you trying to get me to do? Was there a thing that I missed? His own life in someone else's control? Never! Squeeze the bucket tighter. Yeah, we can do that one next. The, the out of map world. ending. At this point, he could try the out of map bucket ending. Except for the bucket. I add a bunch of peas to mac and cheese. Helps things not get all blocked up. Yeah. <laughs> You'll de deconstipate eventually. Yeah, I will. Hopefully it'll be after stream. I don't like doing that stuff on stream. That's why I was like holding it, but... My tummy wasn't having it. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored. The elevator ending. If you had to gone up enough. Oh. I I wasn't sure. Um, if it was just a temporary thing or if it was an actual ending. I can do that one too. Bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends standing in the bucket up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. I, uh, 
five laxatives to my Mackie. Yeah, let me think. Have I been eating enough fiber? Have I? Hmm. Laxative Mackie, a trip to the hospital. <laughs> I do, I do have some laxatives, but they're definitely expired because I bought them years ago. On. The bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley got <gasps> in. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Bucket, Stanley why? was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. <laughs> Silly, Silly birds. The Silly birds. Silly birds. At two, bucket. Stanley Look at the birds. Of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling <laughs> silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intent. The true plan was the silly birds. Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives <laughs> here in this place, living through live streams of the silliest birds mm -hmm. imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. You, you feel... Stanley. He's calling you a silly bird, Cabal. <laughs> you just spend the rest of your life looking at silly bird videos. This is bliss. <laughs> Alright. It's How four, three, four. Here? Stanley wanted to himself. Minutes? Oh, this one. Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. Oh, and you go out the window, right? Right? Yeah. There it is. Oh no, I didn't pick up the bucket! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game- I forgot the bucket. Witty commentary ...into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative <laughs> So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? It hurts my eyes. Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, you just came I'm out here to have a good you time. You're feeling so attacked right now. Am I sick of this gag? No. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Would it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Maybe. Clearly this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? He How is really sarcastic. I love it. Just to have heard all the narration. Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough. How tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though, if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. <laughs> well, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Oh my god. Is this it? I can't escape. This is a small room. I'm trying to get out of the room. But it's not letting me. 
Do I have to manually restart? I want to bark right now. Just bark. Mark. Mark. That sounds like a bark. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the Okay, let's room. do it with the bucket this time. Stanley, without the bucket, really Stanley? Bucket? <laughs> no. Surely no, not. not. Stanley clung Stan. the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. At last, out <laughs> here in the white void, we are alone. Now, oh, there's the, first the window. Time I can reveal to you my true self. My true self? The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Of the countless wars it witnessed. Desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. And the bucket's own complicity therein. Of sadness and regret. And the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. Oh, this music. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket? To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. <gasps> How could you say that to the bucket? Not since the evil wizard Gambharata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasure <laughs> What the fuck is happening? And could not conceive the ramifications of No! Stanley screamed even louder. No! This is stupid! You! What is this voice? Bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed. Yeah, it, it was. Transforming into a mighty beast of untold power. Its fangs glistening like. My God, Stanley, you did it. You <gasps> saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages. What the fuck? To summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. My friend. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. The bucket is truly pure. We fucking killed our friend. But, uh, yeah, Gambarata was referenced in the tape recording ending with the bucket, so I see there's some continuity oh, here. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had sent it. As Stanley lifted his bucket, he felt a connection to all buckets everywhere. This adventure, he decided, was for all of them. Yes, for all Stanley you buckets out there. The to his chest and okay, the let's get the elevator ending. The one where we keep going up and down the elevator after the office. But uh, I wonder if the bucket's real form is a cute demon dragon what if people make make furry par Coming porn of the bucket Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office stepping into his manager's office Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if, but Stanley guessed the correct code by... <laughs> Was it At your order? Was the bucket We're gonna get some furry pouring of the bucket. This is certainly the most logical explanation. You can't have shit in Stanley Parable? <laughs> Rio's sur superpower is creating for any type of furry porn instantly. Okay, so we go up. 
Time to delete the internet? No! Furry, furry porn is definitely not the worst thing on the internet. There was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. But the bucket said nothing. The bucket is done with your shit, Stanley. He just wants to share his love of the number three. Here we are, said Stanley. No, I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number three over and over. Wow, he said. The number three is such a special button. I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. There's an ending. Oh, this is an added route? Who had always felt such yeah, I don't, I didn't remember this. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three. I didn't know that. Oh, so I guess there's an ending if you do this alone. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps Never got to see your playthrough of Off because it worked. Did you like it? Oh yeah. I definitely enjoy Off. I haven't played it in like around two weeks because I I canceled the Off stream two weeks ago, and then last Friday I played. What did I play on Friday? I forget. I did not play it last Friday. But hopefully next Friday. Hopefully next Friday I will play it. We'll see what I feel like playing. But Off is a great game. I really like it. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket. And the, the bucket, bucket said, said nothing. Poor bucket. The bucket doesn't want anything to do with the number three. Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number three began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of <laughs> truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield the the bucket wants your shit. The bucket the wants my stories. yeah. The bucket <laughs> wants my shit, but the shit doesn't want to come out. Also, hey Benji, how's it going? Some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Only silence. Crushed Only silence. Wave of dejection. Stanley returned to the elevator. Stanley and the bucket were so close. They'd always been there for one another. Why Bruh, Stanley you've only known each other. Passion of for a day. The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket. To communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely <laughs> there was a solution, mustn't there be? Long time, been been so busy. Glad I could catch a stream again. I'm glad too. I'm I'm glad that you that you've been able to stop by the stream again. I missed you. What? No! Okay, never mind. I take that back. I take it back. <laughs> you come in and drop a Gigamax Turbo fart. <laughs> but I hope you do, you've been doing all right despite um, being really busy. You need to let it rip. You know, I wish I could let it rip too. I was talking earlier um, about how it's constipated and I'm sad. I need I need to let it rip like that. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press, hold a press conference. conference? Speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him and why he felt <laughs> so alive when pressing it. Then the bucket would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react to this discovery of Stanley's. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand. He's trying to get noticed by his bucket. Oh. Oh, this is different. 
Uh, it's stopping me. Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, the Minecraft one. Yeah, I I saw someone play that ending. I saw someone play that ending. It's like slightly different. Been seeing you doing movie nights. I swear to God, I'ma catch one soon. I hope so too. They've been pretty chill. We just been like just watching whatever we feel like watching at that point. Building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared <laughs> as he'd ever been for anything in his life. Yeah, there's a, a planned movie night tonight. Bebop wants to watch some Gundam. Well, am I going to get it wrong? I forget the name of the, the series. Gun. I'm probably not going to be there because I'm super tired and I'm likely going to just sleep after this, but we're going to Gundam Thunderbolt. Yeah. Are you the world's healthiest human? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not. World's healthiest human being. All tricks revealed how we did it. The pyramids. Live, the guy who went to Mars. That's me. It's the storyteller. Thank you for reminding me, Bebop DM'd me. I forgot to... Oh god, hi Bebop! I'd love to all DM you tonight, I promise. Oh, what's it about? Is it about Ubu or something? Gundam, that's what you said? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's totally what you said. World Peace Baby. An evening with the World Peace Baby. Stage door. Stanley. Tonight live on stage. Q&A with the world's first sentient machine. Nice, nice. The world piss baby. <laughs> doing great. A conversation with Alexander the Great. He's definitely doing great. To stage three, 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 three. That's me. This was it. National One Geographic. To win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. I like this eye pattern. Three. Congratulations, Stanley. Remember where you came from. Your co-workers that disappeared on you. It's those stickers again. Hmm? There's a ping pong ball. I want to pick it up. An audience with the dude who came up with pizza. <laughs> I want to see that. I feel that too, but a bit. I was going to call you Benji. <laughs> Benji! Sounds like an anime character name. But I, I feel that too. I'm also very bad with responding to DMs. There was no one here. It's like I always get distracted. Or like I have to, to put it off to until I I have enough spoons to reply. To press the number three on a keypad over and over. He oh, was no. unloved, uninteresting. <gasps> he was a failure, and in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. Oh. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. <laughs> Benji. So it began slowly over many years. The two of them grew more and more distant. They spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. There would be no more games, no more long conversations mm. about passion and pursuit, only a silence that consumed Poor the Stanley. space between friends. And Stanley... Having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Mm. 
Is that it? Oh no. Wait, so Benji is the name you choose in every game you play now though? Oh, That's great. But work, work has been a nightmare. I got transferred to a new team. They're all about how we can increase our velocity, aka how we can work faster when we're already working fast. Have I mentioned Agile development is toxic before? <laughs> Do you... Okay. Yeah, I've worked on an Agile development team before. Um, yeah. My, my team has some Agile characteristics too. It really depends on how you can execute it. Um, but yeah, when your team focuses... When your team is focusing on how you can increase performance... Uh... It'll definitely burn you out. Um, it's not something... It just feels like you're... Scrambling. You're clawing at something that that keeps getting further and further away. Like at a goal that keeps on getting further and further away. Because you have to keep on getting better and better and better. And they just keep expecting more out of you. <laughs> um, I, I can definitely relate to that. I hope that... You can get through this, and that you can hopefully find some place else to work. Uh, not necessarily at a different company, but maybe transferring to a different team uh, somehow. But I wish you luck. I I, I kind of know how it feels. Uh, my current team has been kind of like that too, but the manager who's the one who really... Um, is focused on the numbers. He is going on vacation for three weeks. Ooh. So uh, hopefully it gets better for a bit. <laughs> yeah, you're moving. You're asking they move back to your old team. What was the reason that you got transferred to the new team? Did they just need more uh, need more help? Well, I hope you do get um, that they do let you go back to your old team. That's. That's a surefire way to get burnt out fast in every facet of life. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. But, uh, oh yeah, so there's one last figurine. I will ask, I will ask for where it is now. Do any of y'all know where the last figurine is? Because, <laughs> uh... I want to find the last figurine, and then I'll probably end stream. Why does everything Sam look dark all of a sudden? To his chest and the door on his left. <laughs> yes, please, Rio. I would, I would like to know. Also, ooh, my Tamagotchi. My Tamagotchi is happy. But it's supposed to be in a room. I can always restart the game. Restart and don't pick up the bucket? Okay. Take the perfect disobey path? Like, just don't listen to him? All of his co workers were. Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stan's office? Huh? Yeah, this is my office. Take all the wrong ways and jump off the elevator. Jump off the elevator? Uh, which one? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. But uh, old team started doing cloud stuff. I had zero experience, so now they're done. Oh, I need to scroll up. Now they're done with that, so now I think I'm free. Plus, worst part is my boss is on my current team now, so I wanna, I wanna get out of that ASAP. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, uh, when you go back to your old team, it'll be in a better state than it was before. The lift. Don't we? Yeah, we need the red and blue hint figurine. The other game's ending that got changed. Oh, okay. It was a 
okay. It was okay. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Red and blue is jumping off the lift? Yeah. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. If you finish the ending, play a bit more, there should be a new ending. Now that you get all the figurines. Oh, there's a new figurine ending? Look, Stanley, okay. Wow! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everybody wait, wait! Very powerful. Not jumping to the... No! Well, you all just said jumping off the lift. I thought it was like... <laughs> if I jumped off the lift, it would take me to a new office. <laughs> okay. I just I just flung myself to my death. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, I need to jump onto the catwalk. Not to my death. Back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yeah, the yeah, he stops us because uh, the door says so says no buckets allowed. Which is ago. horrible. Why don't they let buckets in there? Buckets should Stanley, be allowed everywhere. We've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something <laughs> zero consideration for others. Mm -hmm. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Oh, you watch Markiplier play for four hours? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm playing it. I like the game. I like the original, too. Now listen to uh. this is important. Stanley went <gasps> through the red door. And there it is. The last... Stiggly wiggly. Moment, Stanley. This... Also, hey Chozo, how's it going? This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I will mm -hmm. tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Okay, so went through the red door, and what did you guys say before that? So after that, a new ending. Um, a new ending unlocks. Okay. Oh, you watched play Mark play the entire game before? I forget. Did I watch someone play the game before too? I'm not sure. Oh, God, you are willing to listen to me. Or did I just play on my own? I have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that oh. isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here's oh, is it this ending? If you want the figurine ending, you can just restart. Pedo Frange, run a reel. Yeah, I can just restart if I want the figurine ending. Is this the is this the one where you're like where there's like a really long staircase? What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? This one. Uh, yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel I actually feel happy. <laughs> nah, this isn't doing it for me. I don't feel happy, oh, man. Wait, where are you going? 
no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. It manages to make you feel bad for the narrator. Also, good fart. Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Fuck you, man. I want to die. Stanley, think about what you're... No! <laughs> it's his farts um, carrying up. Wait, what if we make him believe that we're that we that we want to go back? Also, we're walking slowly. We're walking more slowly now. I swear there was a cooldown on that. I guess there isn't. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can nope. both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Rio! Oh no, it's Benji now! Benji! No. Please! What are you doing, Stanley? Please! The reason why I don't have cooldown is because I trust you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, it's gonna play so many parts. Uh, yeah, Stanley's just farting. He's farting up. Thank me, thank you, thank me for the head pat. Thank you for the head pat. <laughs> Brap. Let's go back to the other room. <laughs> Draken! My game, but you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it. Yes. You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. <laughs> Benji had Taco Bell. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Yesterday, but this, sorry, my shits just can't be contained. I wish my shits would come out. <laughs> it looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Rep. Well, this one is yours. Your romantic review of the next NPC? You mean the narrator? Should I give a romantic review of the narrator? I would- I would fuck the narrator. He's pretty cool. He's got an accent. He's nice. Is it over? You feel bad for memeing over the ending? I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, I've already seen this before and I guess I don't really feel bad for him after I saw it the first time. So I'm just kind of like, huh, okay, suffer. Let's see. Huh? Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figures. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with illness? <laughs> yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but would you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit Oh uh, what? Just one more time. I forgot about this place. <laughs> he has he has no physical body. So you need to get creative in bed with a disembodied voice. Phone sex. It would be like phone sex, I guess. Uh, voice activated sex toys. When Stanley, now <laughs> remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. The memory zone. Oh, now there's a little, little staircase down. <sighs> Here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be. That you that didn't remember the memory zone? No, I I remember it. It's just that I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. Seven. 
I was just like, oh yeah, the memory zone is a thing. I like didn't remember up until now. <laughs> yeah, this is was the second Stan Lorene. Stan Lorene. You all on your own just by poking around behind the boss's office. You did that, Stanley. Yep. Honest, back then I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> He's just grilling me. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can this one. The bathroom. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the boss's bathroom. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but yeah. you be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Really? <laughs> no, 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 that's that's a joke. That's a joke. Let's see, what came next? This? Yes, we what? have a figly in this pink room. Huh? Oh, well, no. I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone. So it must uh, happen. no, this did not happen. <laughs> This room is really liminal. I love pink room. I definitely remember being in pink room. Totally was here before. This was the fifth minister. Oh no, what happens if I fall off? Something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Oh my fuck. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my fucking god! I'm dying! Oh! <laughs> it's Windows Movie Maker and Clip. Oh! <laughs> Circa 2005. Thanks for watching! What's- what are you doing in Pink's room? Oh, Pink invited me over. <laughs> Copyright the narrator. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on it. He's been eight minutes on it. <laughs> this is the best ending just for that. Trying not to fall off. <laughs> now here's the last one. And then Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's, yes, all, that's all of them. All <laughs> Be sure to like and subscribe. Like any other, except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. Oh, this is both the same. Oh, these look like happy faces. You are in the present. And That's then, me. There was no more because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing. The past. Move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Oh my God! It just stops while while he's talking. Um. No. 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 I'm not done. <laughs> move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. 
We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite <laughs> direction. See how that feels. That was close to a Spaceballs reference. Like where the, the a loading screen shows up um, while the narrator's talking. Or like, okay, like say, an ending screen shows up. Blue doors. I remember this. 13. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Oh my god. Are we gonna have to go back through all of this? I have to go across the bridge again? And here's where I'm oh, I'm not- I'm not even allowed to fall off. I tried- I just tried to fall off. <laughs> yes, I love that video. I love that video too. I'm not even allowed to fall off this lame. No memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. But how did they? How did they? And the because even with this one, does this bring up the the count? Yeah. Thirty-seven views, two dislikes. Cause, Cause, collecting that Stanley figure brought us to twelve. So which one was missing? These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. I like how it looks by lo how it looks by looking upwards. By uh, looking upwards from where? You wouldn't get awesome Call of Duty quick scoping figurine compilation video if you fell. Yeah, I wouldn't. So they made sure I didn't fall. Oh, it was the under stairs one. Oh, okay. Okay, so they replaced the under the stairs figurine with the pink room. That's why it adds up. Okay. You spent a while in there? Oh, yeah, I like the, the vibes of the pink room too, but my shoulders are just getting kind of aching, so after this ending, I'm probably going to end stream. Hmm? This is it, the very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories. No, narrator, please. What else is there? What came before this? The chicken or the egg. Collect them all. We're back in here. After hours. Uh, yeah, I've been sitting down all day for work. So my shoulders, my shoulders are just killing me. Oh my god, the jump room. The jump Look, circle. It's a terrible new content that <laughs> sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. More memories. Let's go have more memories. If the devs consider put, putting the back rooms in this game? What are the back rooms? It's the two doors! The two doors! Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. You go eat pizza now, take care. Thank you. I hope the pizza is good. Our office! Before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? This Whatever I was doing before I, I played remember, the game. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. Yes, yeah, see ya, Rio. Thank you for stopping by. I became lazy. I came up with, well, 
Or some parody backrooms with Stanley? Ah. Oh. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. And it all comes back to the beginning. It's a spooky liminal mythical space with a monster in it, like a maze of yellow office walls that are stained and gross. Huh, that sounds interesting. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself, that's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through them all. I like work, I just hate my boss. Big office vibes. Now this, Stanley thought to himself, this, this is a bucket. Is a bucket. It was. Okay, so I'm going to this is this is it for the game for tonight. I'm going to head out. It's been nearly three hours. Actually, it's been longer than I was planning on streaming. But let's see. Let me put this away. Play some of that Harvest Moon music again. Thank you guys for coming to the stream. It was very fun today. I enjoyed hanging out and wandering through the office halls with Stanley. I will, um, I am streaming on Friday. We're going to be playing Sewer Rave, requested by Opalite. It is where you go into the sewers and join a rat rave and you see what happens. <laughs> It looks pretty funky, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it was very nice. I, I, very, I very much enjoy this game, and I very much enjoy hanging out with you guys. So it was a good combination. Thank you for the applause. Ah, thank you for the head pat. Oh, yeah, wellness pack. Yeah, okay, sit up straight, stretch. Oh, <sighs> drink water. So, I will find someone to raid. Let's see, who is online right now? I'm gonna go watch some good old-fashioned wrestling. Oh, I hope you have a good time with that, CZ. Let's see. So, there's no one that I really know that's... Oh, wait! Lucid is on. Okay. My eyes just, like, glazed over. So, Lucid is playing Dark, Dark Souls Remastered? So I'm going to raid them. Raid. Okay, lethal. Lucidity. I also like their name because I I actually really like the concept of lucid dreaming back when I was younger. So I would I named myself Lucidical on YouTube. Yeah, lucid. I thought it was so um, clever because it was lucid backwards at the end. Lucid and ickle. Ickle is backwards. Dickle. Dickle. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. If you have my emotes, feel free to use this raid message. If you don't have my emotes, feel free to use this one. 
I will see you guys on the other side. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye. Dickhole, no! <laughs> it does sound like that, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys. Good night.